Real deal. Good to see you. I want to talk to you about the, the Giants. 13 points per game against the last three games. They're playing the Bucks upcoming this week. Is it perfect timing now for Big Blue to play against the Bucks this week? You, you know what? When you have Tom Brady coming off of two consecutive losses, I don't know if you can sit here and say <laughs> it's the perfect time to face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But for this Giants football team coming off of their bye, having two weeks to prepare for this football game, and having the Bucs offensively turn over the football mm -hmm. and have breakdowns defensively, you know, that's always something that you're looking for to get that, you know, that pre-snap or that pre-look or, or just gain some confidence going into this football game. But I know this, when it comes to the Giants, you know, they've got to come back healthy from this bye week. Hopefully they'll get Saquon Barkley back out on the football field. Hopefully they'll get Andrew Thomas back at the left tackle position so we can truly see here down the back half and the stretch of this season what type of quarterback truly is Daniel Jones and what type of football team is this? Yeah, that's a great point. You just kind of alluded to the fact that you could get Andrew Thomas back. You might even have an opportunity to get Saquon Barkley back as well so that offense really has a chance to get rolling and we can see what's there. What talk? Discuss the impact, I guess, of a player like Andrew Thomas because this offensive line has kind of been able to string things together in his absence. But what does a player like that just bring back to this team? Well, I think if you go back to the game in New Orleans where they won that game up against the Saints, we saw the Jason Garrett and the offense utilize tight ends to help out at the right tackle position with Nate Solder. 95% of that game, Andrew Thomas was one-on-one -on -one with the defensive end and held up in that football game. Obviously, the injury to the ankle or to both ankles, I should say, is something that you don't want. And I think that that's where when we look at this Giants football team, and the win up against the Las Vegas Raiders. Did Matt Parrott play well? Yes. But did they have to help him out offensively a lot? Absolutely. I think in that game, there were only two times where in pass protection, Matt Parrott was one-on-one -on -one with the defense men. Mm -hmm. So having now Andrew Thomas back, now you're going to be able to utilize Kyle Rudolph, Evan Ingram, and not have to worry about chipping and helping off of the edge with Matt Parrott. Are the Tampa Buccaneers spoiled brats? I mean, they won a Super Bowl. Everyone's frustrated. Tom Brady, TB12, cut his press conference short. And the coach, Bruce Arians, said, everyone's playing stupid right now. Real deal. Talk to us. Let us know. What's going on down there in Tampa? Well, obviously, you know, they're frustrated. They had the Saints loss going into the bye week and then coming out of the bye week to lose to the Washington football team. You know, that is something that we know Bruce Arians is going to poke the bear and sit there and try to get this football team ready. We saw last year when he called out Tom Brady, the effects that it had on Tom Brady and the rest of the football team. We all know that when you sit there and you challenge or you question Tom Brady, that's what brings out the best football in Tom Brady. He's better when he's upset and when he's mad than he is when things are going cool and confident. But at the same time, I think after we see Tom Brady win you a Super Bowl last year, Bruce Arians, you can't come out after the game and say that both interceptions are on Tom Brady mm -hmm. when we know clearly that the first one was on the wide receiver and then come back today and say, well, I was talking about the second one. I wasn't talking about the first one. I, I swear it comes to a time of day right now where people on TV think that we're stupid because our eyes tell us the story of what's really going on. <laughs> This Giants team, going back to the Giants, is three and six. I want you to sell me some postseason hope here because with the division that they're in right now, they're not out of it. There's still a chance. So sell me on this. Well, right now, I think if you look at the NFC compared to the AFC, the NFC playoff picture is wide open, especially when we're sitting here talking about a 17-game season. And for the Giants football team, Obviously, this is a big stretch moving ahead for them as they move forward in their football season. They've got to win out of these next four games. They've got to win at least two out of the next four and then have that battle down the stretch to where this Giants football team can control their own destiny. I know firsthand, and I think any Giants fan firsthand knows, that when this Giants football team or any Giants football team in the history of the organization have to rely on other teams to do the work for you, mm. it never works out mm. in your favor. That's where with this Giants team coming off of the bye, they've got to come out and play smart, disciplined football like we've seen the last couple of weeks. Controlling the line of scrimmage, controlling the time of possession, controlling the turnovers and the takeaway factor in the game, and more importantly, not having the penalties like they had earlier in the season. 
So when you think about the NFC and having seven teams go in and the rest of the season ahead of them, this is where the Giants getting healthy down the back half of the season, just like last year, was a team that couldn't make a push. Now it's up to the Giants by not what they say, but what they do in between those lines now here in the last half of this season to earn the right to get to the playoffs. This isn't one where we were talking about last year where some moral victories at the end, well, they could have had a chance. This is year two with a complete offseason. It's do it or don't. 